right, guys, just got to Rocky Point Park. Get my line out here. All right, stay tuned, guys. We have a fish on here. It's barely tugging. Yeah, we do. Here it comes. All the ducks want it, too. See what it is. Oh, it's a croaker. Nice. Can't keep him, though. Probably like four inches. Uh, flaring up. That's their defense. There's spikes right there, too. Oh, man. I'll let him go. Let him grow. <laughs> Look at him chasing it. <laughs> We have a fish on, guys. Check that out. Yeah, we do. Yep, yep, yep. With all these little dunklings, chicken, ducks, goose. You have a fish still on here coming in. Hopefully, they don't eat my hook here. Let's get in real quick. Ooh, it's pulling. Probably another croaker, honestly, if it's pulling this hard. Either that or double up. Oh, it's a big croaker, big croaker. Oh, big spot, big spot. Woo, big spot. Nice. Hey, my friends, my friends just got a channel cat, small one. Was this on the shrimp, earthworm? Yeah, this is the catfish. Oh, the earthworm, yeah. Oh, this, uh, yeah. Yeah, nice. That big channel cat, guys. Another one. Looks like the fish are eating right now. Sun's coming down, so. Check this snake out. Oh my gosh. I have a fish on too. Hold up. Let's see what we can do here. Time to troll. Trying to troll. Yo, you want a fish? Here you go, bud. Mm -hmm. Yo, he about to, oh, he about to hit that. He about to hit that. Oh, yeah, attack, attack, attack. Ow, oh, got him. Look at that, vicious. Look at this. Oh. Oh, it's snake. Check that out, guys. I caught a fish and a snake. Oh no, I shouldn't have done that. He's wrapping my stuff up. Come on, come on, let go, let go. No! Man, that snake was not playing around. I cast him in out and he just let go, so thank God he didn't wrap up my line. But yeah, let's get another fish here. Man, this is kind of dangerous, kind of scared now. And let me know what, that's, what kind of snake that is, guys. Oh, we just got a nibble. Nibbles, nibbles, nibbles. Nibbles. Yeah, my lugworms today are pretty much dead, so once they like nibble, it just, they just rip it off, so I have to rebait constantly. Look how crusty my bait is, it's all dead. Got these flies coming. All right, let's rebait it up. Using big, big slices or big pieces of lugworms, because might as well, because they're all dead now. Nibbles, 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 nibbles. Come on now. I know you want it. Yeah, come on. Okay, okay, okay. We're on. Feel small. Never know, it could be running towards me, so. Let's see. Oh, much bigger, actually. Oh, it's a white perch. Nice, small white perch. Fish on, guys. It's probably a small fish here. Nothing like the other spot I caught earlier. That one was huge. Still on here. Okay, okay. Yep, looks like a spot here. Tiny guy, little dinker. We'll let him back. This is my Slim Wave. Tsunami six foot spinning on a Shimano Shattuck 3000. My own high low rig, I made 40 pounds with, uh, I smelled it on J hooks using 25 pound line, one ounce sinker. Fish on, fish on. 
Might be a little bit bigger here. I hope. No, I lied. <laughs> Small spot. See ya. Oh, he's just chilling there. He doesn't want to leave. Oh, here's a snake, guys. He came back. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, yeah. That's his home, I guess. Oh, he got off. No, no, no. He's still on. He's still on, actually. Big fish, guys. Catfish, maybe? Not, not many pools. We'll see. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this? Yeah, it's a catfish. Catfish, catfish, channel cat. Nice. All right. You guys want it? Yeah. I'm a size 10. This thing's about mm, 13, maybe 14. Channel cat. All right, let's get my line back out. Pretty much use all of my bait already because since they're like rotten, they come off easily. Oh, I gotta recast that one. Oh, wait, I have a fish on. <laughs> what? I didn't even mean to do that. What is this? Oh, we got a sunfish. Bluegill, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, my bait keeps on coming off once they nibble it, so I constantly have to rebait. It's just running through it real quick. Oh, there's the snake again. See what he does with this fish. Runs away. Fish on, guys, fish on. A lot of sailboats, too, out here. Ooh, what we got here, he's running. Looks like a perch, small perch. Check him out. All right, guys, I think I'll call it a wrap here. Last fish of the day is a white perch. Small guy. These birds are coming. Let's see if the birds, see if they want him. Come on, there you go. All right guys, heading out here, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like, how to get here. In reverse though, cause I'm leaving. It's a little dark, but hopefully you guys can see. Here's the path. You, can, you maybe can bring a cart in here, but it's, it's a little rough here, see? You can see like it's broken right here. It's cut off. Yeah, look at this. I mean, you can bring a cart. It's pushing it though. You might have to carry it, like lift it up at some some little spots right here, at some points. Um, Got to cut through here. And there are porta potties, but it doesn't look good at all. Um, I think the price I I paid four dollars to get in, but I think it's after twelve. That's why it was four. But if you get in earlier, like you know, 10 a.m. or something, they charge you eight dollars per person, which is kind of too much in my opinion, but I have to double check the prices. But overall, I think this place is pretty much, sorry, out of breath here, but yeah, overall this place is pretty good fishing. All right, people are passing by, but yeah, there's the porta potty and here's the parking lot. So not a far walk at all. Hopefully that helps you guys navigate. All right, let's go ahead and evaluate the conditions. Today we fished a stable pressure trend and let's go ahead and scroll down, evaluate the winds. As for the winds, it came here around five, I think. So that was the east southeast wind, and it was increasing. And as for the tide, like I said, it came around five, so it was low tide. Um, two fish means high activity. Normally, one to two hours before a low or a high is the best time. So that's when it was like I was getting catfish, I was getting spot and perch left and right. And going down here, solar activity. As for solar activity, you fish um, the second day after the full moon. Um, there's no fish right here, no no activity. But the coefficient says 79, meaning high. And lastly, we fished a the barely tail end of a major period, 3:20 p.m. to 5:20 p.m. All right, if you want to fish at Rocky Point Park, go ahead and put that in your GPS. Once you get here, the entrance fee is. It varies right here as you can see for your age 
and what day and time you come here but yeah you can check out the Baltimore County website for those rates and then yeah once you get here basically you know there's a there's an inner boat ramp and you have to go all the way down all the way down to the end this is where I was fishing right here scroll in there's actually multiple boat ramps um, there's a beach too right here um, you can picnic all that stuff and once you get here you'll park in this area like you saw in my drone footage and walk through these trees and then once you get there you're pretty much there to rocky point all right guys thanks for watching stay tuned to the next video remember to smash that like button give us a comment and subscribe everything i use is under the description below so check that out as well